Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of What's in the Bag? And if you already read the title of this video, you already know. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? Good? Good. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I spent money. So, at work, I was walking out, you know, doing my own thing, blah blah blah, and then there's just tables, and tables, and tables and tables, a books, a books, and I'm just like, ah! And they had this thing where if you stuff a bunch of books into a plastic bag, it's only 10 bucks. And me being an English person, this is kind of like Christmas. Me being me and giving into temptation, I kind of went crazy. I don't know how many books are in here, but what I'm going to do is it's going to be kind of like an unboxing, unbagging video. I'm going to show you what I got. Like some of these I've read before and I just want like an actual copy of it. Some I've read partially or like read for a class. Um, some of them I've never read, some of them I've never even heard about but I know the author so I'm like, oh, cool. All right, so without further ado, let us begin with any of these. No spoilers. All right, first book is Joffrey Chaucer, or yeah, Joffrey Chaucer's um, Troilus and Crusada. I've been in contact with this story. It's usually in play form. This is in like narrative form. Um, but this is just like a classic. So I'm like, oh, why not? It's there. Number two is Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Um, this is an this is also one that like I'm very familiar with, but I've never actually read it. If you want like a cool instrumental to like get a feeling of how this book is, is it called I Don't Like Caged I'm gonna play you a clip. Okay, it's called Song of the Caged Bird. So if you're if you're more of a musical person, Song of the Cage Bird by Lindsey Sterling. Is this about books or music? I don't know. All right, next one is Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Um, he's German. Um, <laughs> Kafka's more along the lines of like my kind of field of philosophy that I enjoy. So like, I've not actually read this book or I really know nothing about it. I could give a giant spoiler. He I ruin it? Sorry. Right, next one is the, like, kind of like the script and like stage direction for Inherit the Wind, which is a play about um, the Scopes Monkey Trial in 1937? I don't know. Um, main, I'll look it up. Main plot of this is um, this guy in Tennessee, I think. Um, was trying to teach evolution in school, and that's a no-no. Next one is Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie's Murder in the Collis Coach. Agatha Christie. Agatha. Agatha Christie is really cool in terms of like developing what the mystery novel is. Next one is. You might have heard this. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Um, I know very little about this. I know it's a play, and it just went on in Toronto, and I'm really mad that I missed it. Like I said, I don't know anything about this. I know it's just really good, so I'm excited for that. Next one is The Complete Plays of Aristophanes. I know he's a Greek playwright, not it. He wrote a play called Frogs, and Wasps, and Clouds, and Birds. All right, this one, Sophocles, Antigone, Oedipus, and Electra. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know the Electra was up this. I've not read Electra. Read Antigone and Oedipus for school, senior year of high school. I love it. 
Like, Greek tragedy is so cool. Sorry, Greek. <laughs> Next one! Shakespeare! Midsummer Night's Dream. Okay. Do I have Midsummer Night's Dream? I don't have this one. Okay, cool. I read this one back in 8th grade? <laughs> um, and then watched the play version actually last year. But, Shakespeare. I am a die-hard Shakespeare fan. Um, I love Shakespeare. I will read it voluntarily. So I'm just trying to get the full collection in my possession. Next one is Jack Kerouac's On the Road. Um, all I know is that he rides a motorcycle to cities. I don't know much more about this book, but like I know it's like one of the classics of 20th century American literature. So why not? Brave New World by L. Doss Huxley. Um, I've heard good reviews of this one. I think it's more of like a like utopian observation. I don't know. Oh, this one has a wound. It has a flesh wound. Oh. Alright, this one is a Clockwork Orange. Um, it's in movie form. Actually, I don't know which one of these are in movie form and which ones are considered one of the more controversial. That's the word. Um, it's a very controversial movie, very controversial book, but, I don't know, saw it there, thought it was interesting, and proceeded to grab it. So, while I'm on the floor, I don't really know. I think it's because I just wanted, like, the book spread out in front of me, and just reveling in my book addiction. And the last one is... Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Um, and a, a couple of weeks ago I did the whole quote board. A quote from this book popped up there. Um, read this freshman year of high school. I think it's a really good book. I think it's a very good book and I would suggest it to all y'all. And I just wanted a tangible copy because I wasn't able to keep mine from high school because that would be stealing. There we go! Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> Alright. There they all are. The difficult thing about this, finding a spot in my bookcase because as you can see, it's kind of full. It's kind of full, so I'm gonna have to readjust those. Or, or I get a new bookcase, which will probably be the answer. But anyway, um, hope you like this. Uh, I got excited with books, so wanted to share my thoughts with that. So if you like this video, please give it a like, leave a comment below, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hello. And I will be putting out a new video next week, and I don't know what it will be about because this is all kind of spur of the moment random stuff. So until then. Stay awesome out there, read a book. I will see you next week. See ya.